first sketch was about uh, Nikolas Copernicus, a Polish scientist that came up with the theory that the Earth and the other planets uh, like go around the sun, not like the sun and the other planets go around Earth. And yeah, that was my first sketch. My second sketch was a tank, a four-wheel tank that Leonardo da Vinci uh, thought about, but he was never able to make it. And my third sketch was the printing press that Johannes Gutenberg uh, made. And it was it like improved many things throughout the Renaissance. My first sketch was um, a parachute. It was made by Leonardo da Vinci. My second sketch was his diving seat that Leonardo da Vinci also made. And then my third sketch was the glider that Leonardo da Vinci made. And yeah. My first sketch was of a helicopter, which is what one of the many Leonardo da Vinci sketches in his notebook. My second sketch was of a crossbow. That was another one of Leonardo da Vinci's idea. And my third sketch was a parachute uh, that was thought of by Leonardo da Vinci, who was a Renaissance architect, engineer, and artist. So here are my three sketches. My first one is Da Vinci's helicopter, and it was one of the first prototypes of a helicopter made by him, so it was very significant at the time. Then I have a catapult, which was very popular during the Middle Ages, and it was used to throw wooden objects and other types of objects. And then lastly, you have a tank, which was also Da Vinci's model, and it was one of the first models as well, made of steel and wood. Uh, in the end, we decided to use Nicholas Copernicus's theory that uh, the entire universe revolves around the sun, and this is the initial sketch that I made. Nicholas Copernicus thought that the sun was the center of the universe because of the varying brightness of the planets and retrograde motion, which can be explained in terms of the geometry and faster motion with planets with smaller orbits. And all of this did not make sense if the Earth was the center of the universe, which is why he proposed the theory that the Sun was the center of the universe. This is our prototype. We decided to do 
Nicholas Copernicus's theory that the planets revolve around the sun instead of the earth being the center of the universe. So we got different sized styrofoam balls. We molded them to make the scale of the size of the planets equal. So we have the sun in the middle and the planets. And uh, this is our base. Um, so our greatest weakness in this project was the imbalance of the weight, which caused the sun to tilt and break. And <laughs> our greatest, like, okay, our strongest <laughs> thing in this project was all of us working together and painting and molding them and coming up with the great ideas. I suggest that for our next prototype, we make this base stronger so that all the planets can stay together and then the sun can hold them all up and that hopefully in the end they'll all be more sturdy. tripod method so we got three sticks instead of one and inside these we had very uh, much thicker sticks and we super glued them so they would stick in the planet and it would it would have it would have a very strong base then around we made the sticks a little bit thicker so uh, it can hold the weight and we did the sizing so the more weight is over here and it, uh, wait, so they were too small and one big and two medium, and actually three medium on this side. So we, that's the improvements we made for the second prototype. After Nicholas Copernicus proposed his theory of the solar system, he printed a booklet that outlined his theory. However, his theory went against the Roman Catholic Church's beliefs that God had placed human at the center of the universe. The church even forbade people to read Copernicus's book. However, his theory still had a major influence on a few key scientists. 